Welcome to the National Air Duct Cleaners Association's video library. We've prepared this series of brief videos to inform and to educate. The topic of this video is the NADCA Guide to Proper Air Duct Cleaning. If you're like I used to be, you might be a little confused about air duct cleaning. You may wonder, what should I expect from the contractor? Who can I trust? What is air duct cleaning? Well, let's talk about those things. We'll start with a look at how a heating and cooling system is properly cleaned. Agitating or loosening contaminants is the first major element to proper cleaning, and it's done using brushes, air whips, or compressed air. Which tools are used is based on the type of ductwork being cleaned. Whether your home has flexible ductwork, duckboard, or sheet metal ductwork, the technician cleaning your heating and cooling system will know the correct tools to use. The second major element to proper duct cleaning is collecting or removing the loosened contaminants from the system, and this is done using negative pressure collection equipment. Just think of a really big vacuum. This vacuum not only sucks down the dirt and contaminants, removing them from your heating and cooling system, it also keeps contaminants from getting into the living areas of your home during the cleaning process. The vacuum equipment may be portable and brought directly into your home, or it could be truck mounted. Both types conform to NADCA standards and provide sufficient suction to ensure that contaminants are removed from your heating and cooling system and not released into your home. Depending on the type of equipment used, the technician may cover all the vents in your home. Service openings need to be created in the duct system for attaching the vacuum and using agitation tools. Rest assured that these service openings will be sealed once the cleaning process has been completed. Next, your NADCA contractor will turn his attention to the other components inside your heating and cooling system. This includes making sure your blower, blower motor, cooling coils, and external surfaces of your heat exchanger are clean. A heating and cooling system cleaning is not complete until all these components are clean. So how long will this whole cleaning process take? Well, there are many things that can affect the amount of time it takes to clean a heating and cooling system. But in general, a proper cleaning for an average single furnace home will take three to five hours for a two-person crew and may cost upwards of $1,000. The fact is, it takes time to do the job right. And if you see an ad or a coupon promising some incredibly low rate, chances are it's too good to be true. So how clean is the heating and cooling system in your home? Here's a quick way to check. Remove a vent cover and use a mirror and flashlight to look inside, or use a small digital camera to take a picture of the inside of your duct. If your ducts look like this, it's time to call a NADCA member. And just so you know, all NADCA members must meet a strict set of requirements. They have to comply with NADCA's international cleaning standards, as well as their code of ethics. They must have general liability insurance and maintain at least one certified air systems cleaning specialist on staff at all times. The air systems cleaning specialist certification verifies that they have successfully completed rigorous testing on heating and cooling system components and cleaning techniques. So there's an overview of the NADCA cleaning process. Spending a little time maintaining your home's heating and cooling system will help keep your home and family comfortable and healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video informative.